Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Emergency Text Intro. As always I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution, at 24 frames per second. Also, my comp duration is 10 second. Now create a new text, you are free to use your logo as well. Now press Ctrl plus Enter, to eject from the typing tool. Now make sure to align your text into the center. For the text, I am using the Coco Goose font. And my font size is 100. You can download this font from the link in the description. Now right click on it, and choose pre-compose. Let's call it text inside red. And then hit OK. Now go to the effects and the presets, and here search for the CC light sweep effect. Apply it to the text layer, and then adjust a few settings. First, change light reception to cut out. And then change the edge intensity to 100. Also, change the edge thickness to 0. Let's change the shape to smooth, and then increase the sweep intensity values to 100. Also, you can change the color of the light by clicking here. For this layer. I am using a bright red color. Cool. It's time to animate it. Press and hold the Alt key on your keyboard, and then click on this stopwatch icon, in front of the center. And now we can add an expression here. In this expression area, I am typing wiggle bracket open, bracket close, 10 comma, 30 comma, 20. And then click anywhere to eject from the expression editing box. Now I am also going to add another expression on the direction. Press and hold the Alt key on your keyboard. And then click on this stopwatch icon. In this script area, type, wiggle, bracket open bracket close. Inside the bracket, type 60 comma, 100 comma, 5. Now we have this kind of animation. Perfect, let's minimize this layer, and then press Ctrl plus D, to make a duplicate of it. Let's call it text inside blue. Now select this layer, and change the light color to the blue color. You are free to choose any color you want. Check the animation, and see if you are happy with it. Let's make another duplicate of this text layer. And call it text reveal. Remove all the effects applied to this layer. Now go to around 3 seconds, and then go to the effects and the presets. Here search for the card wipe effect. Apply it onto the text reveal layer, and let's adjust a few settings. Change rows to 50. As well as, change column's value to 50. Now change flip axis to random, then change the flip direction to random as well. In the field order, change right to left. And the last, change the back layer to none. Now we are going to use this transition completion to animate our text. Make sure to increase the transition completion value, so that your text is not visible. Make sure you are at the 3 second position, and then add a keyframe on this transition completion. Go to around 1 second forward, and then decrease the transition completion value, so that our text should be visible. Check the animation, and see if it's working. Press U, to open keyframes. Select both keyframes, right click on it, 
Go to Keyframe Assistant and select Easy Ease. Here we have this nice looking animation. Now select all these layers, and then pre-compose them. Let's call it Light Flicker. And then hit OK. It's time to import our background and the floor image. You can download it from the link in the description. Import your image into your project, and then place them below the light flick layer. Let's hide them for a while. Now select light flicker layer, and make a duplicate of it. Select this bottom layer, and let's call it the light floor. Again go to the effects and presets, and this time search for the compound blur effect. Apply it onto the layer, and then change the blur layer to the floor layer. Also, increase the maximum blur value to 40. Zoom in a little, and you can see the texture behind it. You can increase the blur amount if you want. Let's keep it 70 for this moment. Now we are going to use it as the reflection on the ground. But before, we have to make it a 3D layer. If you don't see your switch tab here, press F4 to switch between. If your F4 key is out of jokes, like me. Then right click here, go to columns, and select switches. Make all the layers 3D by clicking here. Now select the light floor layer, and press R, to open rotation. And change the first rotation value to 290 degrees. Place this layer below this main text layer, and see how much rotation you want. Perfect. Check the animation, and see if you like it. Let's turn on the visibility of the background layer, and then adjust the size of it. Press P, to open position, and change the last position value to 2000. Again press S and make it fit the frame perfectly. Cool, this looks good to me. Now select the top light flicker layer, go to the effects and the presets, and search for the box blur effect. Apply it onto the layer. And then go to the 2 second position, and then add a keyframe on blur radius. Now go to the first frame, and change the blur radius value to 20. Cool, let's animate it. Create a new camera. I am using a 50mm preset. Go to the end frame. Then press P, to open position. And add a keyframe on it. Again go to the first frame position, and here change the last position value to zero. Here we have this nice looking animation. Let's adjust the reflection of the flicker floor layer. I am just increasing the blur amount of it, to make it softer. Cool. This looks good to me. Let's place this reflection position to somewhere near this, so we can see the color reflection as well. Perfect. Select the top layer, and then add a glow effect to it. Make sure you are in the position where you can see the colors. And then adjust a few settings. First, change every value to zero. And then increase the glow radius around 50. Also, I am going to use the glow threshold value to 17. You are always free to choose your own settings. Check the animation, and see if you like it. Here is the last step. Select both keyframes on the camera layers, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and select easy ease. Open graph editor, and if your graph doesn't look like this, then right click here, and choose edit speed graph. 
select the first keyframe, and change the curve to something like this. Switch back to the timeline, and RAM preview this. Our animation is complete, I'll see you in next video. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day.